My name is Brittany. I am a Staff Sergeant in the Air Force, and I work with the 22nd Training Squadron, and I am a Survival, Evasion, Resistance, and Escape Specialist. I'm Staff Sergeant Wayne, Special Warfare Airman. I specialize in combat control, also known as CCT. I'm at the 26th Special Tactics Squadron. Special Operations, we attach to SEAL teams, Green Berets, and we have our own global access teams that we go out. Our combat divers, military free fall, specialize in different weapon systems, and mainly we set up all steer airfields and do air traffic control. Describing the SEER specialist role could be rather difficult because we can specialize in different things such as parachuting, water survival. Day to day for my life is conduct after capture. It's how airmen are to conduct themselves if they are to be captured by the enemy. Capabilities and tasks for the SEER specialist is we need to be mentally and physically capable for whatever it is we decide to specialize in, such as if people decide to join water survival. They need to be able to go to dive school. If they are going to parachute it, they have to be mentally focused and capable to jump out of that aircraft and be able to focus on getting to the ground safely and efficiently. Hey Carla, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good, good to have you in. Hey, how's it going? I feel the only way to be prepared for adversity is to train adversity. Carla Esparza! Training things that are out of your comfort zone, training things that are hard for you, that really pushes my mental compass and it makes me have to learn how to think in those situations because you're constantly just being grinded out and if you don't keep moving, if you don't keep thinking, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna be stuck or you're gonna lose. Every day we get to come in and work with high level athletes, but to work with a team that combines the athletes that we work with day to day with a team that's supporting and serving our country, it's definitely an opportunity that I don't take lightly. We're gonna be working on the ski erg, the air bike, and we're gonna incorporate some cognitive tasks as well. So we're gonna do 10 calories as fast as you can on the ski erg, and then we're gonna move into our first station on our Synaptec device here, and you're gonna do a 30 second eye hand coordination task. After that, right onto the air bike for 10 calories as fast as you can, and then move into our second Synaptec cognitive station where we're gonna be working on a memory task. After we perform 30 seconds of that, we'll finish with an active rest with a one minute kettlebell front rack hold before we head back to the beginning on the skier. We're gonna do five total rounds. All right, Carla, you're gonna set the tone for us. You're gonna go first. Three, two, one, here we go. Good, reach up tall. There you go. I, I would say the most challenging part of it was just the non-stop, like, you go one thing, next thing, next thing, next thing. It was like, oh, you're tired? You gotta keep going, you gotta keep going. It's When you have breaks, it's easy to kind of do anything, but when you're just forced to, like, keep going and going, that's what makes it super tough. <sighs> Almost there, Carly, come on. Good. <sighs> Beautiful. Great job. <sighs> Go. You have to go, go, go as hard as you can. At the same time, understand what is going on around you, what's going on right in front of you. You might be going from a dead squirrel like that and have to stop and focus on what do I need to do right at this moment in order for ops to flow smoothly. Relax. Nice. Those kettlebells. Oh. It looked like it was not going to be too bad, and it wasn't until about the third round, and it exponentially got harder. The cognitive part, the memorization, you had to see about nine yellow dots and they disappeared and you had to press where you think they were. That was tough. First, I want to say thank you guys for putting in the effort. We couldn't get these results and compare them if you guys were a dogging it at all, but I could tell from how tired you were at the end that you guys gave all of your effort 100%. Like we said before we started, we we're going to look at the total time that it took to complete the task as well as the performance on the cognitive task. Hey, if we were looking at just the time, Wayne, you finished first overall, but when we broke it down into uh, considering the cognitive tasks as well, Brittany, you performed the best on the eye-hand coordination as well as the spatial memory tasks. Everyone had very close times, so I don't think we could say that anybody won or lost. 
Wayne, I'm sorry, I do think I gave you a little bit of an advantage by keeping the calories the same across everybody. Limbs are a little bit longer, working with a little bit more weight to get those things moving. But overall, everyone did really well, uh, and I appreciate the effort. The Airmen did fantastic in this workout. They really showed up and showed their abilities to compete at a high level.